All right, so have you ever had a thumb drive? And uh, basically, as you can see, this one has a little bit of a bend to it. Head's bent down a little bit. Uh, also, the head gets snapped off completely. There's a way to still retrieve the data off the actual thumb drive, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, this will actually work for uh, some of these uh, wireless uh, little Wi-Fi adapters and stuff, especially the one, the larger ones with the actual antenna on it that you can take apart. Um, and I'm going to show you because uh, all USB thumb drives basically work the same. Uh, this was one that's broken, so we can't uh, can't retrieve anything off of it. But when the head breaks off of this thing, you can see there are actually four connectors. So there are four pin connectors on that. So when the head breaks off, as long as the board is in, the board is intact, your data is still here. Now this one is dead, so we really can't can't really do the test. But I'm going to show you how to do it uh, to fix this if the head gets busted off to be able to at least retrieve your data off this what you're going to need is an old USB cable that you can cut the end off of it and then spider it out as you can see I've already done this because I was using this for a different project and you'll need a soldering gun or soldering iron and uh, pretty much if you're looking straight forward at the USB as I said before you have a ground on this side. The next one is a little pin in there is data negative. And you have data positive. And then right beside that is your uh, 5 volt positive over here. So you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. If I tilt it enough. I don't know. I'd probably have to take it apart. But uh, all of them have the same. They're all wired the same way pretty much. So that makes it easy though because if you actually splice the wire for USB you'll have a red wire which red is commonly what? it is commonly your positive or your power wire so as you see on this one this is a red wire that is uh, our 5 volt positive the white wire on the US inside the USB cable is usually your data negative then your green wire, which is over here, that is your data positive. And then if you have a black wire, that'll be your data ground. For this one, actually, it's the wire that is inside the shielding, which doesn't have, it's basically, doesn't have a insulator on it. And then this is actually the shielding wire here. So on this one that's the way it is and they're a little different for each one sometimes the actual shielding wire will be the ground and this will just be insulation but uh, it's the other way around on this one so it's usually the way it is so what you want to do is you just want to get out your soldering iron and you want to heat up the solder on all four of these and you basically want to pop the head off and then you're gonna you're gonna connect the wires, which is gonna be very hard to do, to each one of the poles in order of what they are, and remembering which way the head went, which is usually the two spots, two holes up on USB, and then the uh, little bridge at the bottom there. So if you actually solder. This, these wires onto this chip if the chip wasn't dead which this one is dead uh, you could basically plug it into USB and then re retrieve your data off of it so it's uh, and pretty much USB is universally the same <laughs> so far but uh, yeah so do that and you can retrieve your data so cool little tip and uh, if your head ever breaks off that's how you do it alright you guys take it easy peace